Most of us have heard of the saying, practice makes perfect. Some of us prefer practice makes permanent. So why is it that the more we practice something, the better we get at it? Or, as I just stated, the more likely we are to do it again and again and again, whether it's right or whether it's wrong. Well, in our brain, most of us have heard of neurons or brain cells. What most of us don't get taught is that between these brain cells up in our brain, there's little connections, lots and lots of connections, and these are called axons. Well, in our brain, we, we do the equivalent of sending electricity from one brain cell to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. When we do something called a motor skill, which essentially is just a movement, so for drummers, we do lots of motor skills. If we're saying playing a paradiddle, right, left, right, right, every time we do that, we're doing a collection of motor skills to move those muscles. Well, when we're doing that, we're essentially, if we imagine our brain as a, a dark sky at night with lots of stars, we're essentially sending electricity between those stars through those little, those little cables. If we go to the correct stars in the correct order, we play a perfect paradiddle. If we go to the wrong star at some point during the, the electricity chain, we mess up our paradiddle. Now what starts to happen is the more times we get the correct order, the better we get at it. And what the brain does is it's got this thing called myelin. And what myelin does is it grows, it's a little sheath that grows around those, those electrical wires, those axons, and it insulates it. It stops it, any of the electric dissipating to other parts and it makes that little road that we're creating into the equivalent of a motorway, of a high speed highway. So what starts to happen then is we're more likely to play it correct. So when we've learned a paradiddle and we're first learning it, we haven't got much myelin in there. The more times we do it, the more times we get it correct, the more chance there is of us doing it correctly again. I really often get people to learn things very, very slow. And I tell them, don't worry, speed will just happen. And I think this is probably the reason why. When you get this order correct lots of times in a row, the myelin develops. And once it's developed, then you just suddenly, oh, I can play quick now. So next time you're learning a pattern, a motion, anything like that, make sure you think about the fact that up here, you're physically growing these connections. So when you're playing it super fast, are you going to get the correct one? Probably not. And that's why we always say practice slow, slow, slow. Now, the downside of this is our brain doesn't know what's right and what's wrong. So we can just as easily develop bad habits as we can good habits. If we're playing a snare drum incorrectly and we're doing a slice with our right hand and we do that for a couple of weeks, a couple of months, years, that myelin is getting thicker and thicker and thicker and thicker. What happens then is when we've got to change that, someone tells us, oh, you, you know you're doing that wrong, don't you? You should be doing this. All of a sudden then it's very difficult to, to change that route, to break that myelin down. Some of us may have heard of nasty disease, MS. Well, what MS is, is it's a disease that actually attacks that myelin and it actually breaks it up and stops it working altogether. Sadly, for people with, people with MS, sometimes they can lose those motions. So those motor skills we spoke about earlier, for them, it's not just playing a paradiddle. It might be physically walking or moving their arms where they want to move it. So this is an amazing, amazing thing that we've got in our brain, myelin. Once we understand a bit about it and how it relates to our learning of marching drums or, or any physical movement, I think it'll help you. So go look it up, Google a bit of myelin. There's plenty of guys out there much, much, much more qualified to talk about myelin than I am, but I think that'll give you a nice little insight into how come practice makes permanent. If you want to see more videos on how to master marching drums, get yourself over to the Marching Drummers Academy at www.freestylerudiments.com. See you in there.